a clash over morality and perceived influence on young minds. Dozens of children were kept out of Anderton Park School in Birmingham by parents who are concerned the school is promoting same-sex relationships. There was no official protest today, but when MP Jess Phillips came to lend her support to the school, she clashed with key campaigners. And what I will say to this young man who is leading this particular protest is you are harming the community that I grew up in. You are harming Muslim, the Muslim community. How come you have not supported the 300 parents who have been protesting here for the last four weeks? Where have you been? I don't agree with the protest. No, so what you... I don't agree but you, as a you member, get to pick and no, but as a member which of equality no, but as a member you of can and can't as a, have. I'm afraid. Okay, we, you, you have our to say, equality laws you ha okay. protect us all. Okay. I want them to protect okay. you. And actually, I want to protect the Muslim community. I you're not fear you're that you community. are damaging the reputation of the Muslim community. You are damaging. And I you are will make sure that that's But the behaviour of the school and towards parents is coming across as Islamophobic. What do you say to that, Jester? It's not Islamophobic to think that people can have two mums. How is that Islamophobic? So, how, oh, so, so, okay, so the people... The protesters people... claimed that 600 pupils didn't attend, but the school told us 35%. That's roughly 240 of their pupils didn't turn up. The head teacher told me parents were being intimidated at the school gates. There were a group of parents in various different positions around the school blocking the pavement. So uh, my deputy head went out and had to actually ask them to move to allow parents to bring in their children and they were harassing people. Sarah Hewitt-Clarkson feels the Department of Education is part responsible for what's happening. They've allowed parents to think that parents tell schools what to do and parents tell schools which books they can have, which books they can't have, what they can say, what they can't say. The Education Secretary did lend his support to the school today, speaking on Sky News. Religion itself is a protected characteristic under the, under the equalities legislation, but it, but it is important that in school, um, you know, children are growing up knowing about modern Britain, knowing about the country in which, in which they're going to become adults. LGBT campaigners put posters on the school fence in response to the protest. The head teacher here says that she feels like this school is under siege, that they are holding the fort for British schools everywhere, that campaigners are using it as a test case that could be rolled out across the country. But the protesters say that they're the ones who are being bullied and ignored. We are under siege. We're not only under siege from school, but we are getting under siege from everyone now. However, some Muslim parents here don't want the school to be swayed. I was greeted myself by one of the protesters sending parents away, mm. saying, go home, go home, don't bring your kids to school today. And I said to them, at the end of the day, our kids, their education is important. There have been calls for an exclusion zone to be set up around the school so that children at the centre of this cultural, social and moral storm don't have to be reminded of it every time they walk to school. Jason Farrell, Sky News.